think they would sell this at like a discounted price. But no, it's Walmart, it's full price. guys welcome back to my channel how is everybody doing today hopefully everybody is doing well i apologize i sound a little bit hoarse my entire family uh was sick kind of over the last week and i think i'm kind of starting to catch it but don't worry i have taken a lot of uh medication not a lot but some medication already and i've been drinking a lot of water so hopefully we're gonna get in front of this thing hopefully i don't get it as bad as they did but uh yeah we're heading out to target and we're gonna go to a target that uh that I haven't been to in a while. We have to get some groceries, so I figured let's go to a Target I haven't been to in a while. I was just out in Neck Hunting yesterday, and most of the Targets around here I've kind of hit up, but uh, I'm just out in the car waiting for my mom and my niece uh, to come out, and then we're gonna head to the store, and we're gonna see what kind of neckers we can find. Uh, my mom's gonna do grocery shopping, but we're gonna not do that. We're gonna go look and see if we can find any of those ET neckers, because that's what I really want. If I can just get my hands on them, just even just one of them. I probably will only get one if I find uh, more than one of them out. But uh, hopefully we just find anything. It'd be kind of cool. Yesterday was a pretty good day. If you uh, haven't seen that video, go check it out. So, yeah, let's go to Target. But before we do that, guys, hey, I'm almost at 500 subscribers. I'm hoping to get there real soon. So if you like Blu-ray hunting trips, NECA hunting trips, uh, horror toys, Blu-ray, 4K updates, movie reviews, physical media, toys, stuff kind of like that, especially like horror toys, uh, please consider subscribing, guys. I'd love to have you. All right, let's go to Target. All right, let's see. What do we got here? We got a little My Bloody Valentine. Uh, same old stuff there. Nothing really that I need. Let's see here. We got Halloween 2. Jason Lives. Some Funko Pops. Some Gremlins, Turtles. Halloween. Halloween. I don't even make my Elm Street back there. Got some it. Same old damage on that thing seen better days. This is really cool. The Catwoman from Channel 6. I've never seen this before. I wonder if this opens. Huh. That's really cool. You got a DeLorean back there. You got this is a really cool release, the hunchback. Unfortunately, I'm not really seeing uh, too much of anything new. Um, they got a lot of stuff here, just not really anything new. Oh, this is kind of cool. And this little Pennywise figure is kind of stuck down there. The Nun. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's kind of weird. I own this one, but I'm pretty sure that he's supposed to come with, like, an extra mask, but a mask on his face. I'm going to look at this when I get home because I think there's a uh, mask missing out of uh, out of this set. And this is the uh, the part six. It's kind of weird. I'm going to look when I get home because I could have swore that that came with a mask. I didn't remember it not looking like that. But yeah, they got some more Halloween up here. They got some more Friday the 13th up there. But otherwise, that's about it. I wonder if they have... Another one of those Jason lives because I'm curious to see if uh, if it's supposed to have um if it's supposed to have another uh, mask on it or not. I don't know if there is another one though. So yeah, so this target doesn't have any of the new releases. Oh, Terrifier Two was supposed to come out today, and Halloween Ends was supposed to come out today, and they don't have anything. Though they do have Clerks Three. For 20 bucks, which would be kind of a cool buy. They had some Pulp Fiction. I kind of have a feeling that after the holidays, everything is just going to be coming out quite a bit later, like a week later than it should, but that's all right. Yeah, they don't really have much. All right, let's get out of here. So like a couple of new Star Wars Lego sets. I've never seen these before. And you got the land speeder. That one's really cool. I still have that R2-D2 I got to put together, but... That one's really cool. 
And they also got the uh, the Dagobah Jedi training. I've never actually seen that one out in the wild, so that's pretty cool. All right, guys, well, that Target didn't have anything. We're at Walmart now, so we're going to go check out Walmart, as you can see right over there. And we are at Walmart. Oh, and Kanala's here, and my mom's here. Haven't even introduced them yet. Kanala's editing as usual. She's that girl is edit, edit, edit. She's going to be a YouTube star. You wait and see. All right, so we're going to run in there. We have to, Target had no cream, so we have to go get cream here. And we're going to go take a look at the neck because we'll see if they have that Terrifier 2 steelbook. I doubt it, but maybe we'll get lucky. I'll definitely pick that up if we see it. We'll see if they have any uh, neck and we'll see if uh, any of the new releases uh, are out on the shelves. Uh, let's go. Look at these guys. Right off the bat, we got some ET stuff. The 40th anniversary. Uh, little people collectors never actually heard of this, but uh, pretty cool. It was right inside the door. All right, guys, well, they do have the Halloween ends. No 4K, but they have this collector's edition DVD, $17.96, uh, and Blu ray for, I don't know, there's no price. And then they have the Terrifier, too, which is actually not on the shelves. I did not actually think I was going to see that. They have this Tar movie with this awesome slipcover, which I do want to get, but not on DVD. Um, let's see, they got anything else? Uh, no. Oh, cool, look at this. Got a Pinocchio figure. Um, I don't know who makes this. I don't think it's NECA, but that's, uh, kind of creepy and cool at the same time. I have not seen that yet. Oh, look, they have more Pinocchio stuff here, too. They are really cleaning up with the, uh, Pinocchio stuff here, so that's pretty cool. Guys, they do have some really cool steel books here. They got some Forrest Gump, Gar uh, Galaxy Quest, which is a hilarious movie. I don't actually own that. I should pick that up. Wolf of Wall Street, Paris Blues Day Off, and Pretty in Pink. It's kind of cool to see some steel books here. And over here in the NECA section, they don't have too much. They do have some Raphael and the Mummy, some uh, Robocop. But none of the new, uh, none of the, they got some new Gremlins here. But they don't have any of the uh, any of the new ETs or anything, so there's not really much here that I'm really that interested in. Man, another one of the Raphael Frankenstein's. There's another one up there too. Man, they got a bunch of those. They got some Michael Myers right here, but that's about it. They don't really have anything else. They got a cool Batman there, but yeah. That's about it. We'll check the other side and see if they have anything, but otherwise that's it. Well, what is this? That's kind of funny. It says Donatello, but it's Raphael on the inside, so it's kind of weird, but whatever. All right, guys. Well, we just dropped my uh, mom and my niece off. They're going to hang out at the house the rest of the day. Uh, yeah, this is kind of an uneventful video, guys. I'm sorry. There's... Uh, it's not a big release day. I'm not really finding any new NECAs to show off. So it's kind of boring, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I was hoping to find, I'm going to go pick up uh, Halloween ends right now and I'm going to head over to a uh, at, uh, Best Buy and I'm going to head over to another Walmart uh, across the street. And I was hoping to find that Terrifier too. Um, but I just, I finally just ordered it off of the Best Buy website, the 4K to come in because it's not available in any stores. Um, none of the Walmarts seem to have any copy of it. I was hoping to show it off. I've never personally seen it, but they had it going for $22.99 on the 4K. So I was like, ah, I better pick it up just because I'm just, I'm more curious than anything because it's now be becoming, or not becoming, but starting to have this like, uh, this like notorious reputation of just being so violent and so gory and just so gross and you know people fainting at the movie when seeing it and uh you know it just it has me intrigued now it's like god i gotta see this movie i gotta check this thing out so uh i got that coming in the mail which will be here uh sometime at the beginning of next week but uh yeah i was hoping i at least would see it in stores or something to show it off but uh who knows so i'm gonna go pick up halloween ends because that is one thing i'm picking up and then we're gonna swing over to the walmart and uh see if we can find anything there and maybe i'll have something to show off at the end of this video other than halloween ends i don't know but uh sorry guys thanks for hanging in there any of you guys that are still watching it is a little bit boring but uh, uh let's get going to uh best buy and to walmart all right we just got to best buy i'm gonna go pick up halloween ends all right we got uh halloween ends we're over across the street at walmart we're gonna see what's going on in there i don't really ever film inside that uh that best buy because there's never really anything to show so 
they have one tiny little stand that's usually only about a third of the way full so uh that's why i don't ever film in there but i got halloween ends and uh we're gonna go into walmart and see if we can find something maybe we can maybe find at least a copy of terrifier 2 because i'd like to show it off but i'm not gonna hold my breath so uh let's go see what they got anyway so no terrifier 2 which i didn't think they would but they at least have the 4k here so here's the halloween 4k 2796 blu-ray 2296 dvd 1796 smile came out i think that might have been another release today blu-ray for 1996 dvd for 1796 well, they also have this here too this is a uh, dvd the uh, halloween trilogy for i don't really know it's just kind of up here uh 29.96 so this is a really cool slip cover that's one of my favorite slip covers um of this year i really like that i don't know if the movie's any good i've heard it is but see what i going here she has some more of this pinocchio stuff and they are busting out the pinocchio stuff got some stranger things more stranger things little demogorgons there which is kind of cool and some caroline all right let's go check out the neck because this place is usually never really has very much yeah, as far as the seven inches, they only have this. Oh, they do have this. That's a great find. I already own that, but that's a, that's a really cool find. Um, so they've obviously restocked some of this stuff because none of this stuff was here before. The Foot Clan exclusive, that Ninja Turtles, Nintendo. Um, that's really cool. I've never seen that before. That's a, that's a new. Oh, this is cool. I think this is fairly new. The, uh, this Dracula Universal Monsters. I don't know if I've ever actually seen that. And this is new, too. This brand of Ghost Phase. I've never seen that before. That's pretty awesome. We got some Dracula. It's kind of stuck on there. Got some Dracula. Some Freddy Krueger plush. Some Jason Voorhees. Got a pretty badass-looking Donatello. And a Batman mask that looks like it has probably been stolen. So, <laughs> it's the second time I've seen stuff stolen, stolen in the last two days. Everywhere I go, everywhere I go, those little things go off. They always get in my video. I always learn my take every time. Man, this is a big thing of uh, Funko Pops. Unfortunately, there's not very much here that I'm really interested in, but it's a lot of Funko Pops, Pops nonetheless. For example, and that's pretty cool. I already have that, though. Yeah, all right, let's go. Let's go back and look at some more of the movies and see if there's anything cool we can find. The Saw set is pretty cool. It's a, I think it's DVD. It's seven films. It's a, a DVD, but it's a really cool slipcover, really shiny. I like that. If it was Blu-ray, I would maybe consider buying it, but not dvd this is kind of funny to find here the uh, it's a live trilogy they got more than one from screen factory that's a cool trilogy i have that i got some of these universal monsters from halloween never thought i would actually see this in stores look at this it's a cassette tape stranger things i bet it's running up that hill it's probably the song it's the whole soundtrack i think it's the whole soundtrack <laughs> cassette tape that's crazy i haven't seen one of those in decades look at this guys even the garbage bell kids are doing a stranger things crossover <laughs> garbage bell kids making a comeback making a comeback what else do they got here i never in a million years would have thought that they would have uh that garbage bell kids would make a comeback but now they are look at these guys this is this is new i've never seen this before these ghostbusters it's cool. I don't know if it's forty-four dollars and ninety-six cents. Cool, but it's cool nonetheless. It's kind of cool. Was it Mini Epics? I've never even heard of this company. I'm assuming that's the name, but yeah, it's the Ghostbusters. It's cool, but it's not fifty dollars. Cool. I mean, you can get a seven-inch NECA for cheaper than that. Is that the actual price? Maybe it's not. I don't know. I should look and see if this is if this is um cheaper than that. I definitely maybe 
pick it off. I don't know how much it is. But I see we got Lord Gandalf, which I think is this right here. And it's uh, $44.96. I guess on the guy, like a. Oh, that's cool. We've got a bunch of them. I should see how much these are. I'm assuming they're like 50 bucks, and that's just not worth it. Yeah, I just looked this up on Amazon. Amazon's found something for like $43, so I'm sure that 44 is right, which is just too much money. Oh, cool. We got some Nightmare on Elm Street there. Oh, this is kind of cool. The Woody Woodpecker and Friends classic cartoons. I don't know if there's really anything else here that I really want to get. It'd be kind of cool to... Oh, hey, look at this. This Allman box set. This is another good box set. They're really busting off the Scream Factory. iPhone collection, Ninja Turtles. Got some SpongeBob. They got some cool stuff. I heard this movie was insane. I've never seen it, but I heard it was pretty crazy. Finding E.T. everywhere. Not the new NECAs, but every other brand of E.T. I'm finding. Like I said... Every other brand of ET, other than the actual NECA figures. Look at this ridiculous thing. Look at that. Look at how hairy the chest is. I'm glad to know that they're getting their hairy chest accurate on their Kiss figures, because God knows that you know, got to be accurate. Now make sure you have the right amount of hair on the chest. What a Kiss. What a bunch of ass clowns. This is cool. It's the first time I've actually seen this here. This wasn't here last time I was here. I obviously. I already own this. I've had this for a while, but it's cool to see it in uh, in here because I have never seen it here before. You think they would sell this at like a discounted price? But no, it's Walmart. It's full price. Are these these uh, Mill Creek? Oh, yeah, they're really going for the accuracy with the uh, VHS. I uh, know these are Lionsgate. These are kind of cool. You got Renegades. You got Crow, King Ralph. Um, I always thought these came... Oh, these are Milk Creek. They're just the DVD version. Okay. They still have one of these Walmart... One of, they still have one of these Walmart exclusive uh, Pearl. I always thought that was a cool slipcover. Mine came with that one, which is cool, but I'm not going to rebuy it just for that, but it's a cool slipcover. They also have uh, the best on selling night, Deadly Night, 3, 4, and 5. It's kind of cool. This is a really cool slipcover, this Aqua Team Hunger Force. I'm not going to get it, but I mean, it's, look at that. It's just so creative. Very, very cool slip cover on that. The $5 bin. Yeah, that seems about right. All right, guys. Well, we just got out of Walmart, and uh, there wasn't too much in there. They had a few things. It's always kind of fun to go in there and just uh, look at some of the crap that they have, you know, some of the stuff that's on the shelves. And uh, But, yeah, it wasn't a very big release week. I didn't find any NECAs I was looking for. So this video was probably kind of a little bit boring. Couldn't find that Terrifier, too, like anywhere couldn't even find a dvd copy of it so uh yeah i didn't really pick up much um i got terrifier 2 coming in the mail i think it says it can be around like the second or third something like that but uh was not able to pick that one up today but i did get halloween ends which i'm uh glad to add to the collection a lot of people did not like this movie i actually enjoyed it i just didn't think it fit as a like a fitting ending for this trilogy but uh, I have a full review up on that on the channel if you want to go check out my full thoughts on it. This is a nice 4K. It is a nice slip. As you can kind of see, everything is embossed all the way here. Um, it's embossed up here. Everything, even the little, uh, even Halloween ends right here is embossed. The whole face is embossed. There's even just little, like, every little, like, crevice of the mask you can kind of see is embossed. And it's just, it's really, really cool. Even down, uh, down here, which is like his... Uh, uh, like his part of his jacket there the uh, I can't think of the right word but uh, uh but yeah I'm excited to dive into this again it includes in deleted and extended scenes so it's kind of cool but yeah just a very very nice uh nice 4k slip there I'm excited to add it to the collection you know like I said before I'm a completist even if the movies are not anything like super super great I just like to have them in the collection as uh you know as part of the collection you know because I like everything to be complete um but yeah, guys, that's all I got today. I'm sorry I'm <clears throat> a little bit hoarse today. I'm not I'm not feeling the greatest. So, uh, But yeah, I think that's it, guys. I think I'm just going to head home and just kind of be a bum the rest of the day. Uh, but yeah, 
That's all I got for you. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let us know you guys like what I'm doing. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, let me know. Did you, any of you guys who collect NECA, have any of you guys seen any of the new ETs in store um, in your area? Uh, were you able to find Terrifier 2 in your store? More importantly, because I did not see that sucker anywhere. Um, I'd like to know if other parts of, you know, the U.S., if it was in other states, you know, or... Uh, yeah, just let me know, guys. Let me know in the comments below because I'm kind of curious. I kind of feel like the Midwest type region, lots of times, is the last to get stuff. Uh, not necessarily movies releases, but more so like NECA releases. I feel like we're kind of the last one because I remember like when Creep Show came out and all that stuff. People were putting up videos two, three months ago, two months ago that they've seen it in stores, and I just found it. So. Uh, yeah, sometimes I feel like it takes a little while to get here, but, uh, yeah, let me know. What did you pick up today? Is there, I know there was other releases, but there wasn't much that you saw in stores. Uh, did you get Halloween ends? Did you not? Do you plan to? Did you find Terrifier 2? Let me know in the comments below, guys. All right, well, I'm going to go home and probably take a nap because I am not feeling the greatest. So, uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Yes, what a bunch of ass clowns.